interview with Luisa Lambri. Luisa, can you tell me how it all started? Was there an epiphany? How, how did you get uh, into art? How did it all begin? What were your beginnings? How did I get to art? Okay. Um, I've never really been sure that what I do is actually art, but uh, how I get to do what I do um, comes from um, traveling. I used to travel so much. Um, since a very early age, um, my mom used to let me travel uh, when I was quite young, and um, I loved it. I loved it. I also, um, I also didn't like to be in Italy so much. I couldn't really feel so Italian. So I, I started to travel, and um, since I was about 14, 15, and um, I used to find homes wherever I would go. And um, I used to love those homes very much. And so um, those homes became my source of um, inspiration somehow. They really meant a lot to me, to be able to find a home in other places or somewhere else. And so um, I would I would usually feel very happy in these homes around the world and um, so I started to very slowly and very gradually get into photography because I really liked to take pictures but I never, I never really went to art schools. I never went to art schools or architecture, I, ne I never studied architecture, I, um, I, I never studied photography, I never studied really anything. Um, I studied um, literature um, and philosophy, so really nothing to do with art or architecture. And so I, I slowly got um, interested in photography when I was really, really young and really traveling by myself. And then um, through some friends, basically, I got to know about architecture. And then these places that I would um, encounter during my trips um, became homes, and then became very specific homes. Um, and then one day when I was in Japan, I, um, I found myself in a, in a house where I found some books about Sejima. And so I really, I really felt that they spoke to me very much and very clearly. And so, and so I, I got very, somehow very interested in her architecture. And, um, I let myself be being very involved in it, and um, and I loved it. I really love Sejima's work. Yeah, yeah. And in in Italy, there is a sort of a quite strong tradition of artists and photographers connecting to architecture. It's obviously, Girdi uh, is a is a, a great pioneer, and but there is um, also, I mean, we spoke with Walter Niedermeyer about different photographers, and there's also Basilico. And um, I was wondering to which extent. Um, you had influences from photography or uh, who were your heroes, who were your inspirations? My, um, I would say that uh, I've never really looked much into photography itself, especially architecture photography. I never really, really related to it in almost in any possible way really. So um, it's never been about architecture to me. It's been about photography, but not about ar architecture. And I really don't know much about architecture. And I feel that um, one of the reasons why Sejima's work is so meaningful and powerful is that um, because you don't need to know about architecture to, re to really access it or to really enter it. You can just be a part of it without knowing anything about architecture or you just need to just um, her, her buildings sort of um, allow, allow you to spend moments with yourself above all. So it's really not, it's really about a human condition more than architecture. So that's why I felt that I could relate to them. But in terms of uh, architecture and photography, um, I never felt any connection at all. Although I really, I know all these artists works very well and I really admire them but I felt that that was not my my field and um, but
But the first photographs that ever spoke to me uh, were the ones that um, Francesca Woodman made, especially some photographs that she made while she was sort of um, merging with doors or with windows or with walls. And um, they were photographs about the way she would relate to space. And uh, she was sort of um, becoming the space and relating to space in a very intimate, private way. And um, so that really spoke to me, as well as so many other things, of course. But um, speaking about photography, I would mention her. So it is something that has to do with uh, oneself being somewhere and um, trying to be a part of a place. or. Um, or finding um, one's place through a space. And then the space for me became also architecture, but that's not how it started.